Hi guys, welcome back to Mega Five Stars. This uh, CJ So Cool and royalty stuff is really getting a little bit interesting again. Poor royalty, her house has been um, torn up, but at least she's getting through it. At least they gave her one month free rent because I was getting worried to say me personally, I would ask for a month uh, free rent until the issue is taken care of. Rather, it takes two or three months. But, um, and then also I will ask for a replacement of my rugs and furniture and stuff. Not saying that that's not what she getting, but I would ask for everything. If I was renting, that's what I would be asking for. But not only that, she got all that going on and it looks like they're tearing up her front yard. As you can see here, enough of that, but kudos to her. Hopefully she getting her stuff done and everything right. And everything will work out for fine for her. But let's get on this topic. We're on NCJ. So cool what is going on first of all like the topic says yes 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 i do see some love um eyes in there i see some feelings coming back more so on cj's half of course and this is how it always goes ladies once um oh shoot all right mega five stars i'm back I had to answer a call. My mother called to see how I was doing. I had a rough day. Guys, please, guys, please, whatever you do, pray for me. I mean, I talk about other people's lives too, but I might as well just go ahead and share my some parts of my life as well because um, if there's people out, out there that might be going through the same thing I'm going through, and I'm sure they are, especially if they got autistic older children or even kids, whatever age they is, autism is just a lot. But guys, not to throw off the subject, but anyway, I had a bad today. I had like a little emergency and I had to go get that taken care of for my health. And um, my son, all of a sudden out of the blue, now he, now he won't get in the car. I, I had to take an Uber. I was not trying to drive or anything like that, but I, I had to take an Uber and all of a sudden now he, want to pick out a car of an uber that he want to get in do you understand what that means that means if the color car the color of the uber come that's not the color he wants to get in i'm going i still have to pay a fee for them coming to get me but i have to order another car it was just a mess today i i, I mean i had to call you know the officers to see if they can assist of course they can't you know do much because he's technically an adult so they could just ask him to get in the car but it was just a mess it was just a mess so thank god the lady was nice enough to and i didn't want i really didn't want this lady to do this but i kudos to her whoever this lady is god bless her but she went back to where to her mom's house and got another car a different color car now and of course he got in that car he didn't want to get in her red car. I can't believe it. I'm just, it, I'm thrown right now. This is something new that I'm just to let you guys know for autistic moms that have young kids that's autistic. As they grow, it you know, we have to stay on, on top of everything. Now I'm trying to look for a service that'll help me, you know, when I have to go do these errands to help me keep him or something like that because and just keep up on the services that they have in your state. Unfortunately, where I am in the state that I am in right now because I'm not in my home state. Um they don't have many uh programs. But I, that's another topic for another day. But guys, please just please pray for me. But Leah I'm going to get back to this interesting topic. So, yes, like, it looks like CJ so cool. Have love in his eyes once again. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you that's the way I feel. Yes, I feel like he's got love in his eyes right now all over again. Or it's coming back. And, ladies, let me just tell you, uh, it happens that way. Unfortunately, it happens that way. He said himself, he admits to being toxic. He said, that's, he said, this happens when you're in love with someone. So he said it himself. He's pretty much, you know, still in love. And he said, yes, his, uh, he's toxic. Now he's young. So ladies, let me just get that out the way. He's young. And I'm going to tell you about this because I'm an Aries myself. Let me just tell you this. Okay, when the Aries is done with you, they're done with you. They don't care if you're going to date Paul, Peter, Pam, 
a Cinderella. They don't care. When they're done, they are done. Please, they're begging for you to move on. Let me tell you something about the Aries. When they are done, they are done, okay? They're begging for you to meet somebody so you can leave them alone. Trust me. But when they're not done, when they're not done, they want to still be a part. They want to, they want to, uh, Con not control. Well, yeah, CJ, I don't know. The men might be different from the women because it look like CJ want to control his situation. He want to be there, but then he don't want to be there. But when, when you're young, when you're young, you, and this does happen to Aries, when you're young and you're moving on and your partner, and it's a bad thing, guys, it is a bad thing, but I have to beg. When you still have a little feelings for a person and you really just want to go and party and just be free you're young you're free you don't really want to be tied down you just want to go and mingle and stuff like that but you really still in love with somewhat with you, the person that you was with you'll be upset when they get someone and that's toxic that's toxic and that's young but the older Aries like myself we don't play those games but he's playing those games right now so now that he see that she's moving, that she's she can potentially, because she didn't, that's why I didn't put it out there. Guys, I saw the little post that she put out there, a date with a question mark. There it was, the question mark. I was like, I'm not posting about that because that girl ain't dating nobody. It's a question mark. I mean, it's just to throw you guys off. But anyway, a lot of people took the bait. Now, I'm not going to say in the future him or her and this guy won't start um dating because potentially uh well the guy said that he is in a relationship that's what i was saying in the blogs or whatever that he's still in a relationship well he's not in a relationship but he was with somebody and i guess this, their situation is on and off it's his high school sweetheart or whatever school sweetheart and they're off and on or whatever. Okay, all right. And maybe he's like hanging out with Woodsy. Well, we all know when you when those kind of um friendship, you know, hanging out and stuff, we all know that can potentially turn into dating. But then you know we, we don't know what could happen. But I'm gonna tell you this: CJ so cool is leaving the door open for the royalty to find somebody or that really wants her and want to be with her. Rather, if they start off as friends or not, he's leaving that door open. And so now I think he has a whiff of that, and I think that he has uh he's starting to think about wow, if I leave this door open, yeah, she can potentially move on. And she might not have a problem doing that. So now yes, he can see that. And now I think that <laughs> I think that sent off a bell or a ring to him like, wow, uh yeah, she might move on. She might don't have a problem with moving on. But it is a problem with him because he did say, guys, I'm sorry. I don't like keep playing with my hair or whatever, but guys, when I talk and not get real sentimental about something i get a little bit uh warm i don't i yeah i'm gonna just put it out there maybe it do have something to do with my age okay whatever but i get a little warm so anyway he the one said that he gets a little jolly he gets a little jolly because um when he I thought that she had a new man he got a little jolly wow what is that <laughs> And is there still love sparks between them both? Yes, there is. There is on her end, on his, on her end and his end. You know why? Because the same thing goes for her. And I don't care what sign you're in. When, when you are done with a person, you are done. You're not going to care who they're dating. She's not going to care how many women he's singing. And she's not going to care to even mention it to him if she did hear about how many women he da he's dating. She's not going to care. She's not even going to care to mention it to the band. <laughs> Same thing goes for him. She said as soon as he came there, she said, he said something. So you dating your cousin now? I mean, what, what do you care if you've moved on? No. Do I see them back together at this rate? Some days I do and some days I'll be like, hmm, I don't know. He could you know why and only the the i don't know only comes when i say he could wait too long and he could leave the door open for her to potentially find somebody but 
for her, it would take a while because I do see royalty with some type of like self-control, not even self-control, but some type of, you know, respect. She has a lot of respect for herself and I do see that in her and I do see that she don't have to just move on real quick. She can potentially go out, have fun. She's young. She's young. She still want to go out. She still want to go out and have fun and potentially go out to eat or go to a party or something here and there. Yes, yeah, she's young. She's a young mother. And she, you know, she's entitled to have fun too. She do, does what she has to do for her kids. But see, that's where CJ So Cool can lose her because... You know, as she keep going out with anybody, as you keep going out and see that they're fun and they're fun to be around, that could get a little flattering. And women, we all, all of us, a lot of us, especially when we're young, always want, you know, don't miss the hands of your a partner, miss that love and hugging and, you know, all of that. So she could be going through a little bit of that too. You know, she's a woman. She wants to be held. So anyway... CJ so cool. All I'm going to say to that is if you want the woman, go get the woman. Because potentially now that even if she's going out to just be friends with somebody, that means she doesn't want to be, she's missing that part of being with someone. She needs that attention. And if you're going to want to be with her, you're going to have to start giving it to her, period. Or you can potentially lose her. So now I see that CJ so cool is wide open. <laughs> he's like ready for love you know this could be kicking off this can really be kicking off he said he's confused because he thought that royalty likes him <laughs> so by her potentially dating he's confused because he thought royalty liked him what are you confused about you're not with her you said you you know you're feeling good right now you felt as though you don't want to be with her so what what are you confused about? But he said he's confused because he thought she still like him. Guys, I don't care who's ever out there. If you don't see the signs in this, that CJ so cool is potentially opening up to want to be with her. All I'm going to say is don't play with this girl. Don't play with her. She got your kids. Don't play with her. Don't play with her because when you start doing that, then you really letting in some toxic stuff. And then on top of that, you really letting in some uh, karma, a little bit of karma. Because as soon as you get ready to say yes, and I'm going to speak on that. And God, I only speak on things that I've been through. The key, the key. And so you can take that key and open up that door. Instead of being locked out, figure it out. But anyway, it could potentially happen. You know, if you if she if he want her, he needs to act on it. Because when he gets ready to fully say, by the time he gets ready to fully say, after he finished playing out there in the streets, and really say, nah, I'm done. I'm finished my royal oaths. Because right now, CJ so cool is going through. A grown man, a midlife crisis. He's going through it, yes, kind of early to me. But he's going through like a midlife crisis. He don't know if he want to be a, an adult or potentially still in a little, a little mindset of a kid. And now I'm saying this about what I think. This can potentially maybe not. Maybe he doesn't feel this. He doesn't feel like he feels that that way. But I'm speaking from experience and from what I think I see or what I think I know is that he he doesn't. He's at the crossroads where he don't want know if he want to be free, 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 or if he want to be back home with his family. So while he's thinking that out and figuring that out he need to hurry up and make a move because this woman is potentially giving you signs that you need to be singing she's tired of being alone she needs some attention period and that's point blank period this is what i think now yes yeah, she started off saying yes i'm free it feels so good yes it feels good ladies when you don't have to be around that toxic mess yes it feels good when another man is showing you some well needed attention it feels wonderful and so while he still have a little spark there with her is what i think i see he needs to get on it 
or he's going to potentially lose this woman because at this point <laughs> she's already at the uh, um she's already the door is already kind of closing in because this woman already she already pretty much is doing a lot on her own you know her household taking care of the kids she's doing a lot so anyway guys that's my little tea for the moment my little thought of the situation y'all see it i had to take notes on this one <laughs> anyway, honey i had to guys, put yeah, this, this in my notebook guys just pray for me pray for me because i need it Although I'm jolly right now, you know, you, you go through different things. And a lot of mothers out there that's going through this with your children and um, or illnesses and sicknesses and different things like that. Anybody going through anything. Guys, I pray for you. I'm here for you. You can hit me up on Instagram anytime if you want to just share what you're going through with me. If I see it, I'll make sure I'll comment to you or you can inbox me a message or something. I'll inbox you back if I see it and, you know, and just try to help you through it. I'm here to help other people too, because I know what it is. Guys, please make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, and make sure you leave a comment down below. Because let's get this uh, Mega Far Stars, let, guys, let's get this channel going. I want to do huge things that people would never even think of. Trust me. And so by you helping me get there and us get there together, I want to do things that nobody would ever think of with my subscribers. I want to just, guys, it's just so much I want to do. So please, let's help build this channel. I, I named this channel Mega Five Stars because that's what we all are. This channel is our channel, not just my channel, but our channel. So I'm Mega Five Stars. This is Mega Five Stars and you're Mega Five Stars. So Mega Five Stars, please help us get there. Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for my next reaction or you know, commentary. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Oh, there go my thing.